Hello, welcome to another episode. I just died so that we can get a view of our build from a distance. I should probably make a nether portal to spawn so that... Spawn. No, wait. Then we wouldn't be able to get a view of our build from a distance. Uh, that, that would be a shame. And there it is. Looking pretty nice, I think. So, what we have done since the last episode. We have finished the walls that I ran out of sandstone to complete, so I did that. I started putting a ceiling in on the top there. It's just boring and tedious, so I figured I'd do that most of it at least off camera. And uh, yes, but the current project is exciting. We are going to make a skeleton farm at the skeleton spawner. So I have located a skeleton spawner. I may have cheated slightly, but that's beside the point. But uh, even though it is beside the point, let's talk about how I did it. So I went into a creative duplicate of this world. There you have the seed. I just copied the seed. You can copy your seed by clicking on it. You get it in the chat. Control A, Control C. Then you can paste it wherever you want. So I made a new world, a creative world with it identical seed that I use uh, in conjunction with this one not for building I have my test wall for that but just for finding things that are hard to find like certain biomes and stuff that would just take so many hours to find while playing that I just I I'm I don't want to have to look for a certain biome for hundreds of hours when I can spend that time building stuff that's fun. And I have a serious XP problem. I oh no, wait. Ah I need to get my stuff. I forgot. Ah Please don't despawn, please don't despawn. I've been talking so much I've forgotten to that I actually died. Oops. It's still there, I can see it. Don't despawn before I get there, that would be so sad. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So, what I did, I went into a creative world, identical to this one, and I uh, went into spectator mode. I went underground because you can go through solid blocks in spectator mode and I looked around to find a skeleton spawner. It's important that it is a skeleton spawner because we need bone meal. Hello. Okay. Um, and it took a while. Couldn't find one super close. Oh, he's dead. Mm, okay, you're dead. Oh no, that's... No, 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 no. Okay, we're, we're totally fine. Nothing is going wrong. This is all part of the plan. All part of the plan. I promise. Where am I? Is this where I came from? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Okay. No reason to get alarmed. We're all good. Okay. And yeah, I have played for a long time on this world now. In hours, at least. Uh, relatively. And I've done, spent a lot of time in caves. And I haven't found any skeleton spawners. So I went into a creative world. I can sh sh show you how much time we have played. Time, time, time. 3.24 days 
we start 24 times 3 that's like close to 80 hours and I really want a skeleton spawner so that is what we are doing so the reason why I really want a uh, spawner now is because we need a lot of quartz for the statues and I do not want to farm quartz without fortune 3 because that would simply be waste uh, same way I don't want to mine diamonds without fortune 3 or something such so therefore we are going to get a skeleton spawner because we need bone meal as well and uh, it won't be like a good XP farm compared to other things like I don't know pigment farms and ender farms thingies but it should fill our needs this early in the world so that could be useful and I have calculated where we're going so we're going on a diagonal straight towards it right now to minimize the time travel between our base and the spawner when we need to go back and forth okay that was that um, I'm out of no I have coal that's cool uh, don't have much space though, let's go back. But uh, yeah, so it takes quite a bit to mine, but uh, that's fine. We encountered some big caves, most of it was already lit up. Uh, not up there though, so I placed in some torches over there. And yeah, there is a lot of chiron that we will later come back in the future. But for now, it's just fine. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do anything fancy with uh, our spawner. And uh, we just want to make it basically drop skeletons into water. This water will push the skeletons into our hole. And then we can toggle if you want them to get killed manually or automatically. And that's it. So we have reached. <laughs> this is not gonna end well, is it? Okay, we need to get some light in. Okay, I'm, I'm dead. This is not good. <laughs> Oops. But at least now we can get a good view from a distance. So hopefully the torches that we placed will have been enough to stop things from spawning. At least for a moment. I hope. We will see. Okay, let's grab a bit of this. Uh, Make sure quick and sure. Okay, I saw things spawn. point they should they can't spawn unless I'm within 16 blocks and with at this range they have a chance to despawn regularly after 30 seconds so we'll just wait for a little bit here with our tools in hand we'll run in dig a makeshift staircase 
placing as many torches as we can and hopefully not die while doing so. Okay, here we go. Okay, we can do this. I believe in us. Why are there three creepers? No, 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 no. Die, explode, please. There, explode, yes. Okay, okay. We're alive. We're alive. Every everyone is alive. Torches everywhere. Go away. More torches. Torches on all sides. Okay. We did it. So, we want to make this be four on each side of the spawner. So there's one, two, three, four. It's four. It's four. And that's four. Now I'm gonna dig out this thing. I've been fishing here now for an hour, twenty minutes. I'm trying to get some leather we, um, we need a two leather to make the last book shelf for our enchanting station because uh, we already had one book so we needed two more books and one leather per book and I've been able to craft one but I've only gotten one leather in this one hour 20 minutes ish Also, um, I have uh, managed to upgrade our fishing rod. I got some other fishing rods which had good enchants on them. So we almost have the perfect fishing rod. We have Unbreaking 3, Lack of the Sea 3, Lure 2, not 3 unfortunately, and Mending. The only thing you want is to upgrade that lure from 2 to 3 and it's perfect. So, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we'll get some leather soon. So, I just had a thought and it turns out that that was the case. Leather, when fishing, is considered a junk item. Which means that having lack of the sea, which increases the chances of getting treasure, lowers the chance of getting leather. And we want leather, so that's unfortunate. So, we have our old fishy finder here, and I made a new one, which is called a leather finder, and it has lure 3 and breaking 3. We will hopefully get mending on this as well in the future, but this is it for now. And it won't have any lack of the sea, so it will not alter any of the chances of what you get. Uh, with uh, no luck of the sea, you have a 1.2% chance to get leather. With luck of the sea level 3, you have a 0.5%. So we we more than halved our chances of getting leather, so that's really unfortunate. So hopefully this will go back. Also, I forgot to mention that this curse of vanishing, all that does is that if we die, with that thing on us, it will vanish. And since we're keeping our fishing rods in this box whenever we're not fishing, that's not gonna happen. So, it's not a problem. So, I have finished our skeleton spawner. Let me show you its features. We have a little window to look at the Skellingtons! It's trying to kill me. How rude. Later we'll fill this with storage and stuff. But down here is where everything is. We have the Skellingtons. You can see this one is pretty cool, I think. And here we can switch between XP mode and kill mode simply. Yeah, very simple, nothing crazy here. Okay. 
And here we have an enchanting station that's not finished because, like I mentioned, we need books and I still don't know. But uh, we have an anvil. Here we will have a grinding stone in 1.14 to disenchant these and get some levels from that. And uh, here we have this gun, which hopefully don't kill them. And then we can Maybe we need to make it longer. But yeah, it takes damage to them so that we can kill them easier. Doesn't really matter if it takes a bit longer since stone swords are easy to make and cheap. And here is everything that we get and I will be putting those in there all enchanted stuff here this is not just from this one like this for example but uh, yeah enchanted stuff for this enchanting later and the way this works it just moves the magma block beneath them damage so they will just kill them uh, beneath that block there is a hopper minecart that can be used through a block to pick up items through a block. And then sometimes things were falling out, so I just place them. And then we have a chest with a, some fence there so that we can reach it without falling down. And uh, yeah, there's not much more to it. It's not something crazy. And could go up here. I just quickly showed you how this works. We have just redstone, and this is a pulse extender by having comparators. Uh, each uh, they just extend the pulse, and it will slowly go down, and then eventually it will run out. Let's see if we can just see what it looks like. I'm gonna go and get now. So the skeleton farm is complete with the tunnel leading to it too. So this is the design of the tunnel, very simple. But under these slabs all the way there is packed ice. I left this open so that you can see that there's ice beneath. And that means that we can move like really quickly. So we can go like through this tunnel a lot faster than we would be able to otherwise. Of course it takes some food, but we have infinite food, so that's fine. And yeah, I put in some carpets, some doors. So we can, oh, I forgot to put in that lamp. Uh, the lamps are just jack-o'-lanterns with the oak trapdoor beneath. And down here we just have this, same as before. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna fix that uh, lamp before the next episode and uh, thank you so much for watching and bye bye oh I realized I didn't show you what these are these are just 
channels. Let's see if we can s Okay, it is stay, that's good. So our elevators that lead out. So we can easily get uh, outside our uh, place. And they're kind of hidden away here, so you don't see them. And just can get inside very quickly. Because the problem was that I had to go up there and I had to climb through the castle all the way around and then to go down. And it took a long time to get out, so I put this in so that we can get in and out. 